Hi and welcome to Community Producers, I'm your host Josh. Today we're here at the 30th Annual Fringe Festival. We're talking to some of the performers. Some of them are going to give us a performance just to give an idea of what it's like here at the Fringe Festival. Lots of great shows. Let's have a look at what we can see. Fruit Flies Like a Banana is back at Winnipeg Fringe with an all new show. This year it's the World Tour. We're at the Warehouse Building. We have shows starting Thursday at 8 p.m. It's music, theater, dance, slapstick, comedy, vaudeville tricks, a neo vaudeville variety spectacular. We were given five stars by both the CBC and the Free Press last year. Fruit Flies Like a Banana. What's up, Winnipeg? We are Panacea Comedy here hitting up the Fringe Festival for the first time ever with our brand new sketch review. Be a star or get the F out. There is a swear word in our title. We're directed by Second City's Carly Heffernan. And one of our troop members is actually on the Second City main stage, so she won't be here with us. It's just going to be three of us. You only see two of us here right now. Come see some comedy at the Eckhart Gramarte Hall at U of T. We open on Thursday, July 20th at 5.45 p.m. Hi, we're going to do some comedy based on the word hi. Well, it just so happens that uh, we came here and decided to um, eat a ton of pie. We had so much pie. And then we're going to go on stage, rolling ourselves on stage from all the pie that we had. If you've ever seen Charlie in the Chocolate Factory, then you'll know that if you eat too much pie, uh, the Oompa Loompas come and take you away. And so we look like Oompa out. Loompas, so. Come check out Be A Star, Get The F Out by Panacea. Hello. I'm doing Call Me Kirk at the PTA, PTE main stage. Spock, we gotta start the engines using a full power bounce and implosion. Snap out of it, Spock. Snap out of it. Snap out of it, you mutinous computerized half-breed. You're a jackrabbit. You're an elf with an over the thyroid. You are a simpering devil-eared freak whose father was a computer, like his son. You're a traitor from a race of traitors, rotten like the rest of your subhuman race. And you've got the gall to make love to Nurse Chapel? Hey, my name is DK Reinemer. I'm from Los Angeles, California. And I'm doing a show called Help, I'm American. It's a solo sketch comedy show about love, the sinking of the Titanic, and the dream of being Canadian. Uh, it's in the Son of Warehouse venue, uh, which is venue number five. It's a very fun, very silly sketch comedy show, and only slightly political. So come on out, check it out, and uh, help. I'm American. Trump is a, a monstrous bully that is running our country, and I'm terrified. Help! Help me! Hi, my name is Zita Nyaradi. And I'm Mike Franz. And together we are with Saratlek, a Hungarian love story. We are performing at the Rachel Brown Theatre. We open on July 20th at 3.30 p.m. And Saratlek, a Hungarian love story, is the true story of my grandmother meeting her first love in post-war Hungary. So last December she turned 90 years old and we sat down with her to interview her about her life as she told us this love story and gave myself and my husband permission to perform her story. So we tell it with a mix of storytelling and history, a bit of comedy, dance, masks, and linguistics. You get to learn some Hungarian in the story. Hi, I'm Nancy Kenny from Roller Derby Saved My Soul. And I'm Wes Babcock from Your Princess is in Another Castle. Which I am also in. Uh, our show, both our shows, can be found at Venue 4 Pantages, the main stage at the Pantages. Roller Derby opens tonight at 6... 8.15. 8.15. And roll, uh, Your Princess opens at 1.45 tomorrow. Uh, both shows Roller Derby is an action adventure comedy on wheels. It's a one-woman show nominated for a Canadian Comedy Award. I was here in Winnipeg in 2014 where the show won one of the last Patrons Picks Award. We're back again. Uh, Your Princess is in Another Castle is a racy political satire set in a world where 50% of the population is made up of department store mannequins and our leaders are chosen by reality television. So it's very fictional. It's kind of like a Black Mirror meets uh, Saturday Night Live. Right. We hope to see you at the Fringe. Have a great time. See you there. Hi, I'm Hoot. And I'm Annie. And together we Hoot, Hoot and Annie. Annie. <laughs> We're performing our show called Hoot and Annie. 
in venue number six, the Tom Hendry Warehouse. And we open this Friday evening at the Winnipeg Fringe Festival. We'd be happy to have you there. We have songs, we dance, we have videos. It's a multimedia experience. Indeed. We're two of Australia's most famous children's entertainers. And we just want to get in front of this right now, okay? That whatever you're hearing about us on the internet, we want to say we've never been happier, okay? Never, the relationship weird. has never been healthier. We're so strong right. now. We've okay? started running in the mornings. S some of us have. I've eaten more than kale. Others. I think you're talking about the things that I'm doing, Hoot. Yes. Anyway, we're so looking forward to seeing all of you guys, okay? Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Hi, I'm Adam Bailey, and I'm uh, performing the Life Henri at the Rocker, Venue 27. And it's all about the tiger riding ukulele man, Henri Rousseau, and his adventures at turn of the century Paris. It's an award winning play that just got Best New Play and Best New Production at the Toronto Fringe, and it got four stars at Edmonton, too, so you should come and see it. My name is Natalie Frisia and I have a show called Bike Face at the Asper Centre. It's a one-woman storytelling show about an adventure bike ride across Canada featuring uh, graveyards, the Wild West and secrets only fit for strangers. So come check it out. Hi. I'm Nico. I'm Micah. And this is Styx. We're Star Star Theatre presenting Sticks and Bones at the Tom Hendry Warehouse, venue number six. Our show is about a mountain climber who falls off of a U.S.-Canada border wall and then wakes up at a dusty crossroads where a stranger is waiting, playing the blues and eager to make a deal. Come see us. We're happy to be here. Happy Fringe! My name is Laurie Fisher. I run a show called Moments in Time, a multimedia historical experience, and this is... Hi, I'm Mark Essenberg. I did the uh, video for the show. We're at Venue. We're at Venue uh, 12, which is the Asper Theatre for Theatre and Film, and we are looking forward to seeing everybody during Fringe. This show is about those moments in your life where you always remember where you were, what you were doing, who you were with, that changed history, changed our lives, uh, good times and bad times, but the multimedia is what it's all about. Thanks Happy Fringemas. <laughs> Thanks and come to the show. Happy Fringe. Hi, I'm Jonathan Kaplan. And I'm Carol Lee Sarugal. And we are Fear Forest. And we are at uh, Venue 4 Pantages Main Stage. And we're just going to invite you to a nice nature adventure weekend. Nothing exciting happens whatsoever. Miles of hiking, uh, canoeing, uh, sweet you know, animals. And uh, you know, we're not even going to go into the, the, the forest. <laughs> <laughs> See you at the fringe. See you at the fringe. Hi, my name's Stephanie and I'm here to promote Eastport. Eastport is a drama about a widow from Maine who has a stranger show up at her bed for breakfast at a stormy night and his intents and purposes are not what they seem. Uh, it's written by Laurie Duncan and it features local actors Harry Nelkin, Muriel Hogue and Lyle Norris. So happy fringing! Hi, I'm Jeff Newman. I'm here at the Winnipeg Fringe with our show Letters to West 113th at the Asper Center at the University of Winnipeg. It's a show about a little known magician in the 1920s who after returning to the stage following the death of his wife comes back with a spectacular and maybe even supernatural show that gets the attention of Harry Houdini himself. It's a show about magic, mind reading, mystery, and more importantly, two men who fight to hold on to the women that they love. Come check us out at the Asper Center and happy Winnipeg Fringe. Hi, I'm Lauren. And I'm Amanda. And our show is Lauren and Amanda Do It. It's a late night or midday talk show all about sex and sex positivity. Uh, every show is different because we have a featured fringe celebrity that we're going to interview about their sex life. We choose a new topic every night, um, well the audience does. We're over at Venue 10, which is the Planetarium Auditorium. And our show also features some original music. So here to take it away, Allie Harris. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things that might be. Hello, hello. My name is Rochelle Ellie. This is Luke Jackson. I have been doing the Winnipeg Fringe since 2002. This will be my fifth show. This one is called Shoot, I'm in love with you again. It is a one-woman comedy with musical accompaniment by Luke Jackson, all the way from the UK. 
Um, we have a show tonight at 6.30 and eight shows to go at the Pantages Theatre. It is a musical body romp through all the man multiple manifestations of love, from virginity to monogamy. Uh, we have songs like Monogamy, I Want to Spank My Kids This Christmas, I'm Breaking Up With Jesus, to name a few. Uh, this is definitely adult humor, 16 plus, and uh, you will love it. Please come out and thank you so much. G'day guys, my name's Shane. I'm Al. Uh, we're doing a show, it's called The Ballad of Frank Allen. It's on at the West End Cultural Centre. Uh, it's about a guy who uh, shrinks and lives in this man's beard. Yeah, he lives somewhere around here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, won the Just for Laughs Award in Montreal Fringe this year, and it's a lot of fun, so we'd love to see you there. Yeah. Come check it out. See ya. Hi, I'm Thea Fitz-James, and I'm doing Drunk Girl at the West End Cultural Center uh, this fringe. And Drunk Girl is a feminist exploration of the stereotype of the drunk girl. So uh, I tell stories of growing up in a small town where all we wanted to do was drink. I bring in academics and studies all about uh, women and drinking, and basically try to answer the question why women drink, and perhaps maybe a bit of a feminist lilt uh, every now and then as well. Yeah, so see me. Come see me at the fringe. Let's get drunk. Yeah. We are the Merkin Sisters. I'm Stephanie. I'm Ingrid. And we have a show. Called The Merkin Sisters. It's a physical comedy about hair. We won many awards in Montreal. Also, we sold out in Orlando and Montreal. We are at the Tom Henry Warehouse. Come see us. It is not a warehouse. It's a theater. It's a weird time. Hi, we're MTYP Summer Studio, and this is our show, What We Learned From Watching You, A Double Bill. Our show is about um, an incident that happened a few years ago. It's loosely based on when the NSA, the National Security Agency, uh, was leaked to have ended up watching citizens from their phones and their computers without their knowing consent. Our second half is Hot Potato, devised by company, and it's about modern political issues shown through the lens of children. So for example, the floor is lava is now the floor is propaganda, and kids are getting separated on the, play on the playground because of their dividing issues such as silent reading versus coloring. Uh, hope to see you there, we're in venue 22. That's venue 22, MTYP Richardson Hall. Come check us out July 19th to 29th. Happy Fringe! Hey, my name's David Elliott. My show is called Amaze, the comedy magic show. It's at the Cinematheque, which is theater number seven. It's a lot of fun. It's mostly comedy magic, but at the end, I attempt to do the most dangerous stunt I know how to do. I'm going to attempt to catch a paintball bullet with my mouth, and if that fails, I'll try and catch it with my face. Uh, either way, it'll be fun for the audience, not so fun for me the second way. Anyway, come see the show. It's a lot of fun, and I hope to see you at the Cinematheque. Hi, my name is Jim Rolls. I'm doing the inventor of all things at the Planetarium. I've done more fringe festivals than anyone else on Earth. So my show is called The Inventor of All Things. It's about the first man who ever thought of the atomic bomb. So he's a Jewish Hungarian on the run from the Nazis in London in 1933 when he has the single scariest idea anyone had ever had, the atomic bomb. Even worse, the home of physics then is Berlin, which had just become Nazi Berlin. It's what happens next. It is a true story. He was very funny and prize-winningly eccentric, and pretty much no one has ever heard of him. Thank you. Hello, my name is Dora Carroll. And I'm Ian Baston. And our show is On Love, and we're in venue 12 over at the University of Winnipeg. And our show is a beautiful verbatim play. So it's 24 characters played by four actors, and it's all their stories when they were asked the question, tell us a story on love. And we also made all these lovely little buttons that you'll see all around the fringe square. So if you can find us, you can collect all four colors and spread the love. Thank you. Thanks, have fun. Hello, I'm Shelby Bond, and I'm doing a one-man Romeo and Juliet. I'm at the MTYP out at the Forks, giant venue for a giant party. One man, all the roles, danger, romance, sock puppets. It's part of the kids' fringe, but it's not just for kids. Hey, guys, we're the 90s kids. Hey. Hello. And uh, we have a show called Hey, 90s Kids, You're Old at the Dramatic Arts Center. So come and see us there. You're going to see a lot of Power Rangers.
There's Waldo. Oh, Todd. And Todd. Todd. And Todd. That's Todd. All right. So come on down. It's a 90s sketch comedy nostalgia show. Yeah, yeah. 90s Woo. meets modern day. We'll see you there. Bye. Hi, my name is Wendy, and I, my show is called A Woman of a Certain Age. I'm at the Planetarium. This is a show for any woman of a certain age who is trying to grow old gracefully in a world that is very obsessed with youth and beauty. It's a funny show because you have to laugh at aging or else you'll cry, but I touch on some very serious things as well. What's it like when your husband leaves you when you're 50? What's it like to be a widow? What's it like to be caring for aging parents? So I really hope you'll come out. And be sure to watch the glasses so you can tell which character is which. Thank you. And that's just a small look at some of the shows you can see at the Fringe Festival this year. If you want to know more, you can visit the Fringe Festival website or you can pick up a Fringe program at a liquor mart near you. And until next time, that's Community Producers. I'm Josh, your host.